Cold can be beautiful. This video from Fukushima Prefecture in Japan shows what is sometimes called diamond dust. It's really just ice crystals. The temperature was about five degrees Fahrenheit when that video was shot. And it really pretty. is nice. And yeah. we're going to be looking at some of our coldest temperatures of the winter coming up this weekend. Keith. Yeah, I think um, Saturday morning could be the coldest one so far. And, then, you know, it's interesting when you talk about averages, it's hard for people to think about them as averages. February is going to end up above average. Yes. However, in there, it's still February. Right, right. So you're going to have what we have on Saturday morning. But uh, on the whole, we haven't had much of it, and that's why we're running so warm. Here's a look at the satellite. Beautiful day today we talked about. Unfortunately, I hate when I can say, you know, this is the nice day, or, or Wednesday is going to be the nice day of the week. But it's pretty accurate. And Friday's OK, but it's going to be much, much colder. So nice and sunny. Temperatures upper 30s to around 40 degrees. And uh, as we discussed before, you know, it's one of those situations where typically when you get a nice sunny day in February, in January too, but definitely February, usually comes with Arctic air because you need high pressure to come down from Canada. But in this case, that's not happening. It's coming from the west. We're getting one relatively mild and sunny day in here. All right, here's what's coming though. Warm front, cold front uh, combination. We're really just concerned with the warm front part of this. That's going to lift from southwest to northeast overnight tonight and into tomorrow. What I like about warm fronts is they're relatively easier to forecast. I don't want to say easy, but easier than nor'easters. They're not as dynamic. So as the snow shield moves in, it's going to be pretty uniform. What happens with nor'easters, you know, you get deepening lows, you get uh, deformation bands, which is an area of enhanced, enhanced snow. You get dry slots, which is less snow. So those are usually harder. This all kind of comes in from southwest to northeast, so that makes it easier. By tomorrow morning, it's snowing. Uh, over at least half of the state, the southern half of the state, and snowing relatively intensely, at least moderately, through the morning commute. I think that's the problem with this particular system is it's not well timed. And it continues snowing through the middle of the day. We get a little mixing over southern New York County, but it's inconsequential overall. And then things end as a very wet snow with temperatures in the mid 30s. We should get this thing out of here though before sunset. So for most of us, it's a net 12 hour or less storm and then we do have a lot of sun on Friday. Unfortunately, it also comes with some colder temperatures. So I, you know, I was thinking a lot about should I even mess with this map because we had the three to six up to here before. But um, at some point you have to be true to what you think is really going to happen. The moisture looks a little bit farther south than it did yesterday. And so I dragged that three to six line down just about north of Bangor there and then one to three and then almost nothing over northern Arusta County. I think a lot of us will fall in that four inch range by tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. After that, here comes the Arctic front. You'll feel it for Valentine's Day. It's going to be cold and then here's Saturday morning. I haven't massaged these numbers. These are straight model numbers, but I think they're in the ballpark four or five below and then probably 15 to 16 below zero into the mountains. <laughs> Rob, I'm uh, going up skiing this weekend, but I'll, I'll, let's put it this way. I'm not going to leave here till 9 a.m. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you may not need to be the first one up on the lift in the morning. No first chair for me, um, but it is an anomaly that cold air in the relative scheme of things as we go back into the mid 30s for Sunday and uh, Monday. And then Tuesday's our next storm system, which at this point looks like a messy mixture because that's this winter we were talking about. I like to go out live in these storms when they're real storms. And hence, I have not been out once this year for a real storm. It's been all these little all this mixed th precip. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see if we get one. There's still time, certainly, but not in the future here. All right. Thanks, Keith.